What's up everyone, how's it going? Atua here with Coin Bros, and today, by request, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a Ledger Nano S for the first time. So what is a Ledger Nano S? Well, it's known as a cold storage or a hardware wallet, which is considered to be one of the less hackable types of wallets and types of ways to store your cryptocurrency. Now there are other types of wallets, there's web-based and software-based, but I have a separate video where I talk about the different types of wallets. But I'll leave it in the description in case you want to check it out. You might be wondering, well, what if I lose my ledger with all my cryptocurrency? Well, there are seed words which you'll back up, which if you were to lose this, you would use those seed words to recover your cryptocurrency. Shh. It's a bird squawking in the background. But we'll be learning about the seed words in just a moment. And if you're wondering where you can get a ledger, now you can get them off of Amazon or other sellers, but I would recommend I would recommend getting it from the manufacturer or from a certified seller because there have been rumors of people buying these and then messing with them, tampering with them, and then reselling them. And you don't want people fiddling about with your cryptocurrency wallets. So let's unbox the package and I will show you how to set it up. When you get your ledger, it's going to look like this. It's going to come in this nice little box. And then once you open it up, you will see the ledger. As you can see, it does resemble a thumb drive quite a bit. It would plug it, plugs in via micro USB, and you have two little buttons to control it. Right here is some paperwork. Paperwork. We will not be needing the paperwork. And then you'll have a lanyard, um, another piece to the lanyard, part of making it a key keychain, another little ring and then right here is a cord which is a USB to micro USB which will allow you to plug this into your computer which is what we're going to do next. So now to actually set this up we are going to need a computer so I'm going to use my laptop right here. I'm going to plug the USB end into my computer and then take the micro USB end and plug it in to your ledger. Now the first thing it says is welcome and it says to press both buttons at the same time configure as new device. So this is a brand new device. I'm not gonna be restoring it, so I'm gonna use the right button. Now I have to create a little pin, which is almost like a password. Each time I turn this on, I'm gonna to have to type this in to access it. So for the sake of this, I'm just gonna make it 555, five, five, but you would wanna make it something more secure. Now that I've created my pin, it's telling me to write down my recovery phrase. So it's gonna give me 24 different words. Now in the paperwork that I said we wouldn't need, there was this little sheet, which we are gonna need. And I'm gonna write down the 24 sep different recovery words. And I'm gonna store that in multiple different places. So if I ever were to lose my device, I could use those words, these seed words, to recover my device. It is important that I write them in the exact order in which it tells me, not in just a random order because the order does matter. First word is method. And I have just finished writing the 24, um, the 24 seed words. So if I ever were to lose this, I could use these to gain access to my funds. Now it's gonna ask me to basically confirm that I've written down all the words. So it's gonna tell me select word nine and I would have to go find nine. My, my not ninth word is achieve, not jealous. So click through until I find achieve. Now what I wanna do is take these seed words and write them down in multiple different offline places because if I give this to anyone or anyone sees all these words, they will have full access to any funds which I place on here. So this wallet is now compromised, but that's okay. Now that I've set up my Ledger Nano S, I can click through seeing there's Bitcoin, Ethereum, there's different settings and stuff. So we're gonna hop into the computer and I will show you how to get some funds on here. All right, so we're inside of my computer and I have my ledger plugged in and I've already put the pin in. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is receiving some Bitcoin. So we're gonna be using the Chrome app. So I'm at the ledgerwallet.com website. You know, you can just search for the apps, but there's, there could be fake ones and it's best to just go from the actual website. So I'm here at ledgerwallet.com. 
I'm going to head over to apps and then I'm going to scroll down and first we're going to do Bitcoin and then we'll do some of the other cryptos in just a moment. So I'm going to click on Bitcoin and altcoins, get the apps, it's going to take me to the bottom and I'm going to get the Chrome application. So I'm going to install that, opened up the Chrome extensions, I'm going to add this to Chrome, add the app and then we just wait a moment. All right, it's finished installing the app. So as we can, as you can see, we have Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. So before I click on this, on my Ledger, I'm going to press both buttons whilst I'm selected on Bitcoin. Make sure you do that. Then click Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. And then it's going to start opening this up. We're dealing with Bitcoin. And you can just click, I don't know. So now it's just synchronizing with Ledger and then it should open up my wallet in just a moment. All right, here is my Bitcoin wallet, which is on my ledger. So you have your account, you have some settings that you can change if you'd like, and then send, receive, receive and send. We're gonna be receiving some Bitcoin, so if you want, you can use a QR code, but I'm gonna be using the actual address right here. So I'm gonna copy this, and then from another wallet, I'm gonna send myself some Bitcoin. I'll be back in just a moment. And my Bitcoin has just arrived. It's just about $20. So now we're going to do Litecoin. So I'm going to head back over to the Ledger Wallet website. And I'm going to head back over to the apps. And now I'm going to get the wallet called the Ledger Manager. And this is going to allow me to add Litecoin to my Ledger Nano S. So I'm going to get this app. Install. Just like the other app. We just have to add this to Chrome. Wait a moment. Now I'm gonna open up the Ledger Manager app. To begin, connect your Ledger. I already have it connected. And as you can see, these are a few different cryptos which you can add, but we're gonna be adding Litecoin. So just click the little green button, and then it's just installing the application onto here. On the Ledger, you have to click the right key to accept it. Every once in a while, when you're sending crypto or doing something, it'll ask you on here. So now we can go through the on the Ledger Nano S, and you can see that Litecoin has now been added. Now that we have Litecoin on our device right here, I'm going to click on Litecoin. So I have Litecoin selected. Then I'm going to open up the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin app. I know it might seem strange, but because Litecoin uses the same blockchain as Bitcoin, this is how you do it. We can just go with I don't know. Your wallet is synchronizing. If all goes well, and all did go well, here is our Litecoin wallet. So, like we did with the Bitcoin, we're going to receive some Litecoin. Display the address. Right here is my address, so I'm going to copy this. And from another wallet, I'm going to send myself some Litecoin. I've now received my Litecoin, and it looks the same as when we got the Bitcoin. Now I'm going to head over to get some Ethereum. So if you want, you can actually, from the Ledger Wallet website, you can use the Ethereum. But that only allows for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. But if you want to get ERC20 tokens, you have to use something like My Ether Wallet. So I'm going to head over to MyEtherWallet.com. Make sure the address is spelt correctly. Everything looks good. Yep. We know all of this. We're gonna head over to send Ethereum tokens. And now on the Ledger Nano S, I'm gonna exit Litecoin. And I'm gonna head over to Ethereum. I'm gonna select this. Important thing to do is go into the settings and go to browser support and change it from no to yes. That way you can use my Ether Wallet. And then just make sure you're at the settings tab. Now I'm gonna Inside of my Ether Wallet, I'm going to click on Ledger Wallet, connect to Ledger Wallet, and I have now unlocked it. As you can see, this one Ledger has five different wallets, so we're just going to use the first one. Um, just going to click on that one, and then unlock your wallet. So I'm now inside of my wallet. As you can see, here's my account address. So I'm gonna send myself some Ethereum. So I will 
copy this address and from another wallet I'm going to send myself some ether. Boom! I've now sent myself some Ethereum 0.01 and I also sent myself some Divix which is an ERC20 token and the Divi project does sponsor some of CoinBro's music videos. But as you can see, there are a lot of different ERC20 tokens. That's pretty much it for Ether and ERC20 tokens. But if you have any of the other supported cryptos, then you will just have to add it to your Ledger Nano S from here. And that is how you put Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and ERC20 tokens on your Ledger Nano S. I hope this video was helpful. I will leave a link in the description directly to the manufacturer in case you want to pick one of these up. And by the way, they do sell out pretty quickly. That's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next one.